It is 5.30. Here's what's happening right now. Some tough new measures going into place in New York City. All to make sure buildings are safer for the millions of people who walk beneath them every day. The Department of Buildings most recent safety sweep of more than 1300 building facades found 220 needed more protections for pedestrians. The new measures in response to that tragic incident. This was about two weeks ago when a chunk of facade fell off a tower in Midtown, killing a 60 year old woman. The problem with that facade had been well documented before before it fell and it had not been fixed. News Force Andrew Sif joining us live with more on what's being done to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. Andrew? Yeah, and Stefan, the scary part is that building wasn't an isolated incident. It wasn't the only building in Manhattan where there was an unsafe facade. So the building's commissioner this week put landlords on notice. They need to make their structures safer fast. People who work at 729 7th Avenue have taken comfort in scaffolding. Nothing's getting through that. Now covering the building with a sidewalk shed up above. So many in the city still shaken from that December 17th tragedy right here when architect Erica Tishman died, hit by falling terracotta from the facade. That's really scary. It could have been anybody. The building previously cited for dangerous conditions the owner had yet to fix. All I know is something fell off there, hit someone in the head, and now nothing's going to fall off because that's protecting us. But this week, the city building's commissioner announced a new crackdown. Of 1,331 other facades inspected, 220 found to be dangerous. So the city is now doubling its inspection force, adding 11 inspectors with mandatory reinspections within 60 days. It is their obligation to make sure their buildings are safe. And today, the city's buildings commissioner, Melanie LaRocca, told News 4 that landlords have only hours to get their act together and make facades safe. So we are proactively reaching out to some 200 owners today, letting them know that this is their last chance. Um, they have until tomorrow, and if they don't act, um, we will do it for them, and the city will bill them. It's about time the Department of Buildings started focusing on scaffolding. City Councilman Ben Kalos has been pushing City Hall to aggressively pursue landlords who don't prioritize safety. His long favored remedy, having the city step in to build scaffolding or even make repairs, then bill the building owner. We shouldn't be in a situation where our city is literally crumbling around us and we walk under scaffolding to catch our city, which is falling apart. It's a major change. The city actually making the changes, making the repairs, putting up the scaffolding for the landlord, then leaving them with the bill. This enforcement strategy is set to start tomorrow. We're live outside of Buildings Headquarters in Lower Manhattan. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York. Andrew, thank you very much.